I, when I was 10 years old, uh, was the first time I went to Spain. Because my family side from, you know, my father was Spanish. And my mom, my father, and you know, they wanted to go to Spain. My father wanted to see his relatives and show his land, show his, you know, from where he came from, to me and to my mom. And I was like, uh, when I, I saw the, the old uh, Islamic palaces and mosques, and the people told me about the Islamic past in Spain. It, I was very interested. It's you no. Know, I liked it very much. I liked to visit the, the the palaces of the the Muslim emperors of Andalusia, and I liked when people told about to me about this and I asked people about this. This was my first contact with Islam. And after this, I, when I returned back to Brazil, I began to read. I, I know, after, after a few years, though I, I kept searching. Uh, if, you know, I, I like it to read about this, to ask people about this. I asked my, you know, in, in school, I asked my history teachers if they know about this, if they could. Uh, Give me a book about this. Uh, I wanted to know more about this, about you know, the Muslims. The, and was then uh, when I was 15 years old, I went back to Spain. You know, I was older and more serious. <laughs> And so when I went back and saw again all those monuments uh, and I searched to, to, I wanted to know more about them, about these people. And then I began to research more uh, who they were, from where did they come from, where they believed, why they came from so far from the Arabian Peninsula to Spain. What they were doing there? Why the, the why their rule? Why their their kingdom in Spain was considered the the, the golden era of Spanish history? I wanted to know why, and I began to, to study their history, uh, their culture, and of course their religion, uh, Islam. I got a copy of the Quran, and. The internet uh, was available at that time. I always researched about it. And the books uh, about uh, history and culture of Islamic people. And when I was 18 years old, uh, no, I was invited by a Muslim guy from my city. To, to go to the mosque, no, to, to know, to talk with the, the Imam. And I immediately accepted this invitation. And the next Friday, I went with him to, to the mosque uh, to, to, to speak with the Imam. And to see, I was very excited. I wanted to, to, to because all the knowledge I had about Muslims until then was uh, Almost only through books. No, I had met very few Muslims until until them. The, the Brazilian culture, it's it's very different from you are used here in Turkey. It's completely different. We uh, play the normal Brazilian person plays a very big emphasis. In, in having fun and pleasuring himself. Uh, Brazil is, is known in the world by, by what? By beaches, by carnival, by music, by football. And of course, it, 
Brazil is much more than, than it, but it is part of Brazilian uh, society. So a normal, a young person in Brazil, like 18, 20 years old, the thing he, mo he or she most want is uh, to have fun. Uh, is to, to go to party and there's a thousand different kind of parties in Brazil. And, you know, people like to go there and drink and dance and uh, have uh, intimate relations, you know, men and women. And then people uh, no, the young people in Brazil, uh, they spend much time and much effort and much money <laughs> looking to these things. Uh, and I was, was, I was very different. I never liked this kind of things. I never liked parties and drinking. Uh, no, it made no sense to me to have fun drinking and losing your mind something I never mm -hmm. I never liked I never wanted to 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 mix with this kind of people but you no know, it's normal for the society in Brazil to accept this behavior and then uh, there was me 18, 18 years old uh, in a society that places a lot of emphasis in pleasuring himself in going to party and drinking and having fun and having girlfriends I I didn't I didn't felt I belonged to this kind of society and I felt alone and empty in this kind of society. I wanted something else. I wanted something that was meaningful, something that completed me. Then uh, I went to the mosque for the first time when I was 18 years old and began to have conversations with the Imam. It was Sheikh Ahmed Mahidi. He was a Syrian gentleman and he came every Friday to perform the Salat al Juma. At that time, in my city, uh, we didn't have uh, a, imam, a permanent imam. So this gentleman, Sheikh Mahairi, came every Friday to do the Salat al Juma. And every Friday I began to go too and having <coughs> conversations with this gentleman, asking him about Islam, about, about God, about uh, the Prophet. And I began to, to see that the Islamic way of life, you know, the, the, the emphasis in the ethics and morality and having an upright life, uh, to have good morals, to not to drink, not to waste your time, not to, to have several girlfriends, to be a, a productive member of the society, to help other people, and to believe in God, and to have your life following the, the, the commands of of, of God, of the one who created you. I wanted this. I wanted to be part of this. I didn't want it to, to, to have fun. I wanted to have uh, a meaningful life. And I felt I have found it uh, in Islam. So some time later, I decided that I wanted to leave this. I wanted this to be my lifestyle. I wanted this to be my culture. I didn't want it to, to be a normal Brazilian guy who you know, wake up in the morning, studied or, or worked, 
and in the night I went to a party and drink and went back home and, or had a girlfriend here a girlfriend I wanted to be closer to God I wanted to and the thought of having a life like this was very important in my decision to 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 revert it to Islam.